Hi friends, in my previous videos, I have given a walkthrough of various features of Azure SQL, especially the performance insights, of which gives you the high level glance what is going wrong or what is going correct in terms of the CPU utilization, memory utilization, IO utilization, plenty of parameters were available in that particular one. So you can go through the Azure SQL important feature part seven and all these, how to create and how to deploy also is be, was covered. Coming to today's topic, I'm going to cover Azure SQL Analytics, which is in preview currently, but it is worth to try. So what it actually does, Azure SQL Analytics is an advanced cloud monitoring solution for monitoring performance of all your Azure SQL databases at scale and across multiple subscription in a single view. If you are from a database background, you must have heard about Sentry One or SolarWinds kind of tools which actually give you a single view of glance uh, of various databases you are managing under uh, multiple programs so that you know you don't need to really worry to go to each and every dashboard of that particular database and see what is going or what is going what is happening uh, on the particular database so similarly as brought the azure sql analytics which is going to help us to monitor our all the databases across the subscriptions in a single view. It gives you the visualization of uh, key performance metrics with built-in intelligence for performance troubleshooting. You can even uh, create the, um, create, sorry, monitor the rules and alerts from the Azure SQL Analytics. Without further delay, let us get into our today's topic, SQL Analytics. So I'm just creating a small resource group for this log analytics services. Just to uh, even reach here, you need to search Azure SQL analytics in a search bar. Nothing much you have to do to reach here. Okay. Uh, you can see here SQL analytics. Here preview. Okay. Before that, uh, let us create the log analytics service workspace. For that, uh, we need to just search log analytics service in the search. So you can see the workspace here. Click on that. Go ahead and create log analytics uh, workspace and uh, use a subscription. As I mentioned, you can use either the resource group. Like um, I'm just uh, creating a new one. Uh, I want the new one here. So let me just create Azure oh, Analytics Service. Then give a name for that uh, SQL Analytics. My service. So I'm just taking Central India. I'm fine with that. So go ahead and uh, create it after a minute uh, the validation is passed hence I'm going to create this so after a minute uh, still the deployment is in progress um, let it take time I will uh, yeah it's ready now your deployment is complete that's good so it just took um, less than a uh, couple of minutes so my analytics service is ready now we are good to go back to our SQL server analytics to create our SQL Server, Azure SQL Analytics uh, resource. So just let me select my another service, so resource group which I created and also analytics workspace. Review and create. Here again, uh, the validation is passed, hence I'm clicking on the create button. Within less than a minute, my Azure SQL Analytics resource is ready and I'm clicking on the go to resource to just get into my analytics account. So now let us go to our database and configure this SQL Analytics. So now nothing to do here. We created Azure SQL Analytics, we created log analytics. Uh, now we are going to the database. I have uh, a database called as Advanced Works 2017. Let me click on that. So scroll down. Uh, we already have uh, some monitoring tools like alerts, metrics, all those stuff. But every time you have to come here to 
monitor those here what we are trying to do is like centralized monitoring system where you can monitor all the databases what you are using across the programs across the organization in one place so that is the beauty of it uh, so let us go to the diagnostic setting settings so i don't have any diagnostic set settings currently but click on that now so let us select what is all that you want to send to your log analytics so i'm just selecting sql insights few things here and then click on the send to log analytics workspace we already created one by default it came because i al i only have one log analytics service so if you want uh, basic metrics and all those things you can uh, create uh, select here i just mm, maybe i have gone another mile so we selected all the parameters here where do you want to archive in case if you really archive or you want to stream to the event hub that option is also available but i'm just mainly focusing on the sql analytics service that is the reason i'm not going further so give me give some name to the diagnostic uh, setting maybe diagnostics for sql okay save it so after a few seconds uh, it is uh, updating the diagnostics so let us uh, go to the log analytics and check so so far what we did is that we created a log analytics workspace and we created sql server sorry azure sql uh, analytics and then we have added a diagnostic settings where we are selecting to send certain metrics and parameters to log analytics workspace these are the three steps we performed and now let us go back to the log analytics so i'm just selecting the log analytics uh, workspace i'm just trying to go to where what we have created oh so let me just go to log analytics workspace here click on that we already created this resource earlier so it should appear under the workspace summary sometimes it may take a little uh, longer to get what you have linked already i'll make a next video once the dashboard is ready but meanwhile you can see how that looks like once the data dashboard is ready it shows all the parameters what you have selected and uh, it is a centralized uh, locking mechanism or analytic uh, service uh, so in my next video you can see the data refresh thanks for watching my videos